Hello, people who love ruin. My name is Gary Butterfield. I'm playing Darkest Dungeon at the The Duckfeed Memorial Dungeon Estate, continuing my perpetual journey here. We need money. We need to get champion crews into shape, uh, which would make sense to go do some suicide squads or do some antiquarian runs. We have two antiquarians now. We're not going to do that, though, because I don't like any of our options at that level. We're going to kill the miller. Take back the fucking farmstead. Where is the miller and his family gone? Let's go kill him. Uh, good, uh, good reason for this. An okay payday. Getting the rampart shield, which is a really good uh, man at arms trinket. Getting that extra move and stun chance makes him an incredibly reliable stunner. Yeah, and I wanted to fight a boss, and you know, still dealing with uh, trying to get my microphone going. I'm using like a backup mouse because I couldn't get to work while my mouse worked. It's exceedingly annoying. I'm exceedingly annoyed. Let's go through the crew. Got ceiling face here, a master shield breaker. I'm uh, probably gonna get up to level. Well, maybe not. Pretty low on the experience level. Might get up to level five. Uh, I'd prefer not. Want to keep some people at level three, but that's okay. Uh, standard loadout. You'll notice not everything is upgraded. Uh, money got a little tight, so I kind of looked to see what the upgrades were. I uh, got a standard melee loadout here. So we got the potion X. Shendo box. Also has the snake skin. Extremely useful. Here we got contest winner. Uh, some negative quirks, but who cares? Full gamut of skills. Got the uh, Dismas's head and the ancestor's candle. For again, for damage. Sacrificing some HP, but damage, damage, damage. Uh, this this fight is 100% a DPS race, and we'll probably get to level five here. So my first modded class to get to level five. You can tell, you know, which modded classes I'm like really using based on that the next modded class uh in the list is ben at level three here and then we got a bunch of level twos so i gotta bring these people out some more get them leveled up um but that's what a contest winner can do damage at all ranks and good damage zach hanlon our master jester she went up with a standard jester thing uh stress healing is really important in the farmstead this is more of a traditional farmstead mission it's not endless but it's still more traditional so Zach's going to be great. Got the Ancestor Scroll for additional stress healing done. And then also this Maddening Tambourine for stress healing done. Uh, as far as I can tell, really at the only, the expense is at less virtue chance. But on friendly skill buff, buff self, 10% stress healing done for five rounds. So I think this will just ramp. And he will be like an amazing stress healer. Is my hope. Um, could use getting Tiger's Eye. Uh, would not be bad for this. And I might actually go do it. Uh, and then over here in the back, we had uh, Lydrian, um, Born Leader, which is cool. Quick Draw, Warrior of Light, all very cool. I'm going to be using the Sacred Scroll, so giving up some stun chance and damage in exchange for additional healing done. And the uh, Tome of Holy Healing here for a plus 58% uh, healing, because I don't want to fuck around. Gotta heal. There are no ambushes in the, uh, in the farmstead. Let's go very like you know this might end up being expensive but tiger's eye is really good so we're gonna buy it and well i'm sure we got some garbage to sell here we don't need two of these yeah that's all we're gonna sell for now i might sell this life crystal because i have the uh the heart crystal thing or whatever up here which is to me better like bigger downside but like way more upside so this thing so additional damage, HP, and move resist at the cost of speed versus just life at the cost of speed. Um, it doesn't look like we have to sell it just yet, though. So money's going to be tight after we come out of this, but um, that's okay. Because we're going to go, uh, you know, go get some money after this. So I just I need to re-roll these missions. Uh, I've got my topics up in case I get bored. Let's go. Uh, so this is, we do need food for this. There will be some camps. It makes me think I do need to sell a couple things, but let's see. Um, I can't remember exactly how much food. I'm going to bring a lot and then a full stack of things. A couple of keys is good. Holy water is not necessary. Laudanum, though, is really good. Um, let's sell. I mean, I'm never going to use this just thing I just got. Plus, I get accuracy at the cost of dodge. Um, uh, it's... Nine, minus six accuracy versus marked. 
kind of a, a problem. Overs is not marked. Hmm. It's rare, so it makes me not want to get rid of it, but it's not very good. I don't need two B-strings. All right. Full stack of laudanum. Uh, bandages. Anti-venom. Debuff. Don't need all that. A couple of keys, because it is useful. I'm going to bring a couple scales, because I'm not going to get tons of treasure here, and I might need them. And let's bring some shards. These do things. Um... Yeah. Not this shard dust. I'll explain that later. Let's go. Slabs etched with certain celestial designs were erected around the perimeter of the farmstead. The miller, lamentably eager for some early sign of improvement, fixed his watery eyes intently upon the wilted fields and listless mill. My gaze, however, was cast skyward and I marveled at the limitless profanity of the stars, wondering what harvest might come. Ooh. Spooky. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, I didn't see what that was. Somebody got something, though. Um, there we go. All right. Onward. Let's fight things. This is going to introduce me to the real. So you can see up here, this is kind of divided. I'm going to fight several different waves of this kind of stuff. Um, the uh, farmstead's not for everybody. You know, as a, as a thing. Like, not everybody loves the farmstead. I get that for sure. There's really no reason not to do Dragon's Breath. Because the torch will count as above 75 for this. So 7 to 15, that's pretty good. And the stun. Like, I want to get damage in on the uh, plow horse, but... Pretty too good to resist. Um, because I can do that. Bam! The crits. Uh, yeah. No. And you can see that she's doing less damage because of the uh, the dealy. That's okay, because we'll do this. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. But yeah, the farmstead. You know, it's kind of repetitive. It's fighty. So later, you know, I might end up doing some kind of like marathon uh, seshes of lots of, you know, kind of day-long, let's actually give him some blocks, day-long farmstead stuff. Not day-long, right? But like, you know, a long-term stream kind of thing. Can I get rid of this? Not quite. It might not turn into a crystal, though, because more people might, yeah, someone's going to come over it. That's fine. Um, you can see buffs are really powerful here. 90% crit modifier. Um, yeah. And this move is actually very powerful here, too. But we're not going to do it. Let's try to kill you. That thing's annoying. It has reposts. Repost. Or panleons. Repolios. Look at that! 90% crit modifier. Let's keep that going. You should be, yeah, plus 20% stress healing done for four rounds. That is stacking. That's just really good. When I start getting stress, he's going to cure so much stress. That maddening tambourine is good. Destroy. Nothing but crits. 55% crit chance with this buff. Like, this team's fucking invincible. I bet you that, um, well, I mean, this is a... Uh, they really overstating things a little bit here. The uh, two blocks remain. Okay, those don't stack. Um, modded classes will probably totally change the meta of the farmstead, which is a pretty, sincerely, like, pretty cool thing to me. Um, because farmstead, I enjoyed, but it got a little... Uh, I was hoping that would stun him. It got a little bit... Uh, steady, I guess, for me. Like... There were only a couple different um, class comps that worked for it. Generally, Vestal Jester in the back, no matter what. And then the first two slots, you can kind of experiment with. Um, a good luck with a Leper and a uh, Highwayman or a Leper and a Shieldbreaker here. And I also had like just a lot of luck with uh, two Shieldbreakers. It was really fun. Uh, they kind of like dance around each other. Um, I can actually... Yeah, there we go. 
kind of dancing around each other. I wish I could just find out how much stress that's going to heal, but nobody has any yet. They do have stress attacks, these enemies. So. Um, nobody needs a healing. For that. Might get rid of the corpse with the blight. Not quite. Alright, going into the next zone. So far, so good. Flawless victory. Oh, this is a good, uh... The instruments pause. This is good. But the symphony will soon continue. So, gleaming shards. In between... Oh. Well, I wanted shards. I didn't want this dodge stone. Um, in between these rounds, you go into a room. Um, one of them you can camp, but you get, like, little benefits. They usually give you a healing or stress healing. Shards are what you want. I was hoping for shards. Now, check this out. Things are gonna get weird. The light bends. Gleaming. Gleaming's pretty good. Look how pretty that is. Oh, and it takes in, uh... Monsters from the from the uh, mods. That's really cool. Uh, so I'm probably gonna be fighting a lot of uh, Sunward Isle mods. You can see up here gleaming. So I get extra bleed chance. I get extra healing skills. But the monsters are better at bleeding, and they have five percent crit. So these different lights, in addition to just being absolutely beautiful uh, and just super cool looking, give you negative effects and positive effects, and they're random. So. So I'm going to concentrate on the stress dealer because I like that I'm able to keep stacking these buffs. And I would rather keep uh, stacking the buffs than start stress healing, really, even though I am going to be really good at it. 29 damage each. The Arcanus is out of control. Um, plus 60% damage, speed 90% crit modifier for three rounds. Let's keep that party going. Wow, he's that way. Merry Christmas. Um, Their formation is broken. Maintain the offense. So you you go and you face uh, this thing. Hello. Uh, you face a random group of jabronis when you go into these uh, later areas. It's not the farmstead group. Nothing but crits. Can't not crit. Arcanist, are you going to obviate the Miller? Please tell me yes. The Miller is a hard boss fight. I would love for it to be obviated. And the crits get rid of stress as well. Like, he keeps critting. We're all going to get rid of our stress without me having to do any stress healing. Uh oh. Crabulons. Okay. You couldn't have crit that time? Come on. There we go. You know how to crit. Um, can these guys bleed? Not really. Let's keep. So the uh, buffs can stack three times, but they last for three rounds. So if I don't. Yeah. If I don't keep doing it, they will run out eventually. I don't need to be doing it at the like rate I'm doing it at by any means, but I like doing it because it's fun. So it's fun to stack it up. It's fun to have like, that's a lot of damage. Uh, zero risk. Oh, don't. <laughs> keep forgetting about that. No. <laughs> Lydrian, you're so noble, but you shouldn't do it. I hate to see it. All right, certainly dragging it out. Oh, put it in my veins. Yeah, but you man, you will kill the crystal. Another one falls. I'll lose all of your stress. Um, does anyone hit five stress, four stress? We've almost lost all of our stress that we gained for going here. I'm losing my mind at how good the Arcanist is in the uh, A brilliant confluence in the farmstead. And purpose. Aw, it's Meek. He used his, uh, his pleasure claw, not his business claw. So, done with the second half here. This is stress relief. Kind of unfortunately. Um, oh no, this is fresh harvest, so this will heal. And this only does it for one person, you can see. But only one person needed the health, so that's fine. Um, Alright, so we should go back to the farmstead, I think, here? Yeah, so we're back in the farmstead's mi miasma.
Yeah, still 90% crit modifier. Seems good. Putting the horse right up front. Listen to the music here, too. I'm going to turn it up just a little bit. I love the, uh, the farm set is the best music in the game. I have no idea if that's too loud, so I might turn it back down to like the safety level here. But I really love the farm set music. Is a rarity in the fever pitch of battle. Ah, double stun. And the bleed. Wow, he's out. We actually have some damage on the board. Kill him. Right. Monster's size has no intrinsic. Those horses can scramble your party. It's horrible. Be considered a virtue. Not a crit. What are you doing? Frankly disappointed in you. Why can't you be more like contest winner? The crit king. Now, only 10%? Great, okay, let's keep that up. Thank you. Get the killer going. Let's get the kill rather than go for the heal. Johnny Topside asked me what my favorite dinosaur is. Uh, Stegosaurus, or not Stegosaurus, sorry, Triceratops. Uh, honestly, no contest. They're cute. Uh, Stegosaurus is also up there, though. Chill. <laughs> um, I don't need to get rid of that one stress. Yeah, I love Triceratops. I like the low ground-based four-legged dinosaurs more than, like, raptors and T-Rexes. I like our brontosaurus. They seem peaceful and good. Gonna get his free, his free whip. Whip. I didn't get the crit. Get the stun on the reposter though. That's good. And that guy can be bled, and we're not at max crit benefit here. So let's actually a rare offensive. Oh, both of them resisted the bleed, though. Thank you. Um, go for the stun here. I have a chance, even though it's yeah, still a pretty good chance. Even she only reduced ten percent. The big thing with Sacred Scroll is the uh, less damage, thirty-three percent damage, which is significant. We're starting to take some damage now. Um, this is only veteran level. By definition, almost all of the uh, farm said. Look at that. Farm said stuff is actually champion level. So, you don't get to go here. Here's the part of the music I like. Isn't that cool? I listened to the, the soundtrack for the, the, uh, the Farmstead many a time. Yeah, so uh, Triceratops. I also like Compies, the little dinosaurs from Jurassic Park. You can see here the reinforcements. The stars are not right. I still not dead, huh? Got 15 protection, but not that much. There we go. Uh, Matt asks, what is my take on the long dead car combat genre? hasn't aged well, but I have a lot of nostalgia for some of those games. What, what would a modern one look like? Uh, no idea what a modern one would look like. Um, I didn't play a lot of those. I know they like Twisted Metal, right? The big one. I played a little bit of that. It was fun-ish. You know, it was fun. I had fun with Twisted Metal. I think I played Twisted Metal 1 and 3. 
Um, I don't have a lot of nostalgia for him, though. I'd be lying if I said I did. Uh, so no real strong opinion. I know it's kind of like an unsatisfying answer, but... You know, the reason why the Ar Arcanist is so broken here... Is because it's supposed to be costing me Torchlight. But he's going to be really good in the Crimson Court as well. Anything without Torchlight is just going to make him killer. I'm going to heal for 12, too. Stack up the healing trinkets. So this should be a camp. Uh, not a camp. Resupply. And Resupply. But be quick. So... Key here. Oh boy, really giving me those uh, dodge stones. More food than I could ever eat. Nothing about the... Uh, the farmstead. Maybe you don't get the camp in this one. Yeah, here's the Miller. You don't get the camp in this one. Usually you get the camp a session before you fight this guy. Alright, so this guy, this, here's the Miller. The Miller has very few attacks. A huge bleed resistance, which makes you think that you know, the Jester would not be good here, but he's really good for stress and buffing. Um, he only has a couple attacks. He summons a farmhand, which he can encase in ice to make him protect himself, or protect the uh, Miller. Um, and then he does this thing called the Reaping, which does a lot of damage, more damage to the people in front than in back. And that's him. That's his thing. He has 143 hit points right now. He is susceptible to Blight. So getting a Blight on him, 4 over 5, a Crypt Blight, really good. Uh, can barely be stunned. So let's actually go ahead and do the Judgment, top her off as far as healing. So he's going to start being a jerk. There's no doubt about it. Like... So Frostfire Bolt's 918, 63% chance to crit, 65. The crits though, I'm gonna, this is gonna be the most body the Miller has ever been. Um, so here's where he summons a farmhand and he gets two actions. If he gets his other action, he's gonna buff this farmhand guy and I can't kill him with the adjuster. So let's go ahead and just keep our buffs up. We thought you got a camp on this first one, but that's only when you come back later. So he's getting Winter's Breath. Now he's encased in crystals. And he does this thing called Hollow Keening. Which is a horror attack. Um, still probably... Actually, it's definitely worth doing Dragon's Breath here. Yeah. Because it'll hit both, even though he's protecting him. Stun the Miller, too. Look at that. Um, let's clear the horror attack. Kill you. Get the Miller unprotected. Can't bleed the Miller. Um, 10 stress is not worth worrying about. We're bodying this. This jabroni. Even the Vestal is getting crits. Losing his first action, I'm stud. His second action, he'll probably summon again, or he'll do reaping. Master beckons, okay. And he also summons just guys. So here's this guy. He's a jerk. You can't stand it for my dragon breath, though. The crits, though. And the stun again? What is the stun percentage on that? 110% chance to stun if Torch is above 75, 20% base, plus 100, so it's 130% here. The Arcanist is totally breaks the farmstead over his knee. That is the easiest the Miller has ever been for me. Look how little stress I have, four stress. That's incredible. Like I didn't make very much money from that, but I was never in danger. A little bit of money. A little bit of money. Some of these comet shards, so I can look at those trinkets. And then the big thing, the Rampart Shield. Alright, so we do have our level 5 contest winner here. Who's got Scoured Knowledge, which is cool. It's really good. Uh, and then Diurnal, no big deal. I won't get rid of that. Really? Wow, what a what a good sesh. A good week for the Darkest Dungeon crew. And hey, I can talk about these things I've never used uh, in the game. Because once you go there... Uh, you unlock these guys. These are shard mercenaries. You uh, can hire them. They all have this shard mercenary thing, which means they'll only go to the endless quest. 
They'll only go to the farmstead. But they start out fully leveled up. And they take a percentage of the uh, uh, shards you get. Because everybody in this world wants them shards. They also end up with a bunch of you know, negative quirks like, I've never taken these guys. I've always just got my own guys into shape. And two antiquarians? It's very tempting to do like a three antiquarian, one strong character suicide squad and see what happens. Uh, just see if I come back with money. Uh, maybe we'll do that next time for funzos. We'll see what's on offer. But um, yeah, I always send my own people. When people die in the farmstead, you lose their trinkets, but you don't lose them. They come back after a couple weeks. So, and that's the farmstead. Like we're, we're now on the endless harvest here. And the endless harvest begins. So it's darkest, extremely difficult. You just defeat as many enemies as you can. It goes on forever and you get a bunch of trinkets or a bunch of shards at the end. So that's the endless harvest. Uh, thanks everybody for watching. Uh, MVP, it's gotta be contest winner. I love the Arcanist. It's OP, I don't care, super good. Um, I have to earn money though. I have to get my level fives up into order so I can start doing champion level shit. Um, so let's do that. We're gonna go get some money next time. Thanks everybody for watching. Take care, I appreciate you.